<laughs> you ready for this? Yeah. If you had to introduce yourself to the world, what would you say? I'm a new teacher. I'm 18 years old and I have a cerebral body. But just because I have a cerebral body, it doesn't mean that I'm just... When you're bringing a friend over, how do you introduce them to your sister? Uh, I just go, this is my sister, Teja Rodriguez, and then usually they ask, what happened to her? I say, nothing happened to her. She's regular, normal. I want everyone to know that people with terrible party are very small. And like, we are capable of any, of any, uh, Welcome to SBSK. Join me as I travel around the world and interview individuals living with a condition to prove no matter how you communicate or what obstacles you face, you're always deserving of love and acceptance. So without hesitation, let's meet today's friend. I will never be what I am today what I remember. They are my number one supporter. When you see my daughter, know that she is super intelligent. Don't view her as just the girl in the wheelchair. Um, know that she has such such a heart. She's capable of so much. My biggest fear is losing my brother because like, as a teenager, my several body, like I still need my balance. I don't know what I will do without my balance. And me so much to me, like I always tell them, like they keep me strong. They keep me the strength to keep going, like and like. Everything I do in life is to make them proud of me. My parents, like, we cry together, we laugh together, like, this journey is not easy. But, like, as a family, like, we learn to just fight through everything and just enjoy life and to never let my disabilities stop us. How often do you tell your dad you love him? Every day. Every day because he's my hero. This man right here is my hero. My good dad is my everything. <laughs> what is the most difficult part? of living with cerebral palsy? Uh, the most difficult part is like not being able to walk and like needing help with a lot of stuff and like I can't like just get up and like do something like everything takes me longer and it's okay, and, uh, and I'm fine with that. I find the love and that my parents gave me. Hey, I'm 18 years old, and they still need to carry me around. They still need to free me, dress me, and do so much for me. Okay, they have never complained and they deliver so much love. I take the little thing for granted, like walking is something that most people don't appreciate. But when you are like me, like, Walking is a dream for me, and like, I feel like because of my disability, 
I appreciate more and I had to make a different outlook on life. What is it like for you to complete those tasks for your daughter? It's a blessing to know how I could do it. Um, I enjoy it. I have no problem doing it every single day. And I just wish I could continue because I'm getting older. So I just ask God to give me the strength and the energy and power to always be there and carry her and take her everywhere she needs to go and feed her and do whatever I have to to make her life easier. To be like a teenager myself before I'm not going to lie. And it's sometimes very difficult for me. I worry about it. all the kids and like, I always tell my parents, oh, like, why the kids laugh at me? Or why they don't want to be my friends? I remember I used football games. One. I see that he came to make a bomb. Oh, yeah, you tell him. Like, uh, last year when I was playing football, like this, like um the other team, like the other team, he was making, they were making fun of my sister. But what did he do? You tackled him. Yeah, I, was, I tackled him because she was like, yeah, because we were playing tackle football. I tackled him. I tackled him super hard, actually. <laughs> yeah, I do sometimes break down crying because I actually like all my other friends are like, they are all driving home and they all go out with all their friends. Like, I'm not saying that I can. I can't do them when like a little bit more difficult for me. If you saw somebody being rude to your sister, what would you do? <laughs> Truthfully? Truthfully. <laughs> uh, like not to sound ghetto or anything, but I think we might fight. <laughs> when somebody meets you for the first time, what do you hope they say to you? I hope they... Ask me, like, can you tell me a little bit about, my, about yourself? And, like, do you take the time, the time to know me, like, before they judge me? All the kids in my family, like, I have so much little kids in my family. I feel like because of me, they learn to like accept anyone that's different and they will never make fun of nobody with a disability because of me. How's that make you feel? Super proud. What's the most memorable thing your mom has ever said to you? Yeah, in her, in her eyes, yeah, I'm perfect and that to never feel any different. And I, I like to always believe in myself. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> So what are we doing? No, I'm pushing my cake. He got the brick. Life is hard we make it. We all have going through stuff in life. And we all have different challenges. Some are bigger the other, but they are all challenging and we just need to fight through it and just 
enjoy life, enjoy your family, and then just love who you are. So we are all perfect. <laughs> Nothing is impossible. You can do anything. Nothing can stop me from being happy. I'm a normal kid. I love to have fun. I'm always smiling. And you, you will never see me mad. Okay, I feel like life is a gift from God and we need to enjoy it. What's it like for you to be capable of doing this now? It feels amazing because I know that for other kids it's difficult and I appreciate everything that I can do. When we go out in some places, it, some people stare at me, and like, I just hope wish that they knew that like, I'm as small as they are. What do you want the world to know about your granddaughter? You can translate for me. Me gusta todo lo que ya hacen, bien inteligente, quiere progresar por sí sola, bien trabajadora. He says I'm very hardworking, but I'm never give up. I can read, write, and talk Spanish. When did you learn it? I was just raised in that language. When I could kind of go on a scene, que siento un pensaje de mi poema. Yo pensé que tú te ibas a sanar, que iba a ser, tú te ibas a superar, iba a ser una niña bien inteligente, porque tú eras era desde chiquita, eras bien inteligente, sufría. Cuando estaba pequeña, pero yo siempre pedí a Dios que tú te ibas a sanar. Le rogaba a Dios por tu salud y que te sanara y que te curara de tu problema. Dime. La, si yo si yo una, que I was going to be like a small girl, that she always prayed to God to help me walk. I know that one day, I remember the walk. <laughs> she never gives up. She's, she's our blessing ever since the day she was born. There's so many things I'm proud of her. I can't ask for, for a better daughter than this one. Um, besides her being an honorable student, um, she's always trying to achieve her goals and accomplish so much things in life. I'm so happy that my parents believe in me even when I thought I couldn't do it. And like today I was senior in high school and I'm about to graduate and it's just so incredible how, how much I I had accomplished in my journey. What made you keep on going forward and never quit? Because I have a dream to walk. And I knew that one day it will happen if I keep on going. If you had one wish, what would it be? My mom wish would be like, to keep inspiring the world and for the world to accept, to accept like everyone for who they are 
and she just loved one another. Has your sister ever taught you anything? She taught me many things. <laughs> well, school-wise, she helped me so much that it's like, that I can't congratulate her enough. <laughs> she helped me pass during the sixth grade. I almost stayed back for the first time, and she helped me pass. She taught me a lot of things. She taught me how to never give up. She taught me always believe in yourself. She taught me a lot of things. When I can get on the ass, I do. Mucha, me ha enseñado muchas cosas. Me ha enseñado mucho amor, mucho cariño, y y no tengo más cosas que decir porque me ha enseñado muchas cosas. Dile. I have so so much. I have so hard to love and be kind. I can't ask for a better parent because of them I'm who I am. Ever since I was a baby, they always told me that I can do anything and as a family, we have never let my disability stop us. Is there anything else you want to say to the world? Uh, no matter how impossible your dream is seen, like, keep trying and, and never give up. Thanks for watching. If you appreciate what we're doing and want to see SBSK grow, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This will help us reach even more people and make the world a better place. Thank you. My disability only affects me physically, but it doesn't mean that I'm less than anyone. We are all the same in this world.